Hi there, it's me, the Blackboard Economist. And last time we looked at the oligopoly and we went through these characteristics. Few large firms dominate the market structure, block entry, urge to merge, mutual interdependence. What I wanna do right now, we're still talking about the oligopoly, but I'm gonna take a minute we get the whiteboard clean here as we use our board to explain these concepts. So what I want to do now, I want to take a minute to examine, know that we have these characteristics, okay? Know that we have a sense of how this market structure works or what it looks like rather. And you have put examples in the comments on the previous video. I want to get a sense of well, what exactly will happen when this market structure is operational? There are a bunch of different things that could happen. And I'm going to show you two examples in the next two videos. The first thing that could happen, given the characteristics that we just looked at, is we could have one of the characteristics that we talked about was control over price but mutual interdependence and we talked very briefly about that what it looks like but what i want to do is i want to show you if that mutual interdependence goes all the way at the end of the continuum what i mean is what would happen in an oligopoly structure if there was collusion okay so we're gonna call this the collusive pricing model. So not only are they watching each other, but they decide to collude. There's another name for this. Sometimes it's referred to as a cartel, okay? So the collusive pricing model or the cartel, okay? Now what this looks like or what's happening with the cartel it's usually the case where firms make an agreement in the cartel model firms make an agreement to fix prices divide the market yeah and limit competition So that's collusion. In the collusive pricing model, firms make an agreement to fix prices, divide the market, and limit competition. Collusion in the US is illegal, okay? I explained earlier before, um, the Department of Justice gets involved when firms decide to collude. So, the firms are colluding, maybe we don't know about it, who knows, right? But there are other examples of collusion or cartels that exist in the global landscape. And I'll give you an example a little later on. Now, I want you to think about this for a minute. In the collusive pricing model, firms are going to limit competition firms are going to agree to work together and fix prices. Listen carefully. In the collusive pricing model, firms are going to agree to act as one firm. Let me repeat that. In the collusive pricing model, firms are going to agree to act as one firm. Does that sound familiar to you? If the firms are agreeing to act as one firm that's a monopoly so in the collusive pricing model even though you have a few large firms dominating because they have come together to act as one this essentially is a monopoly I'm not talking about the game of monopoly by the way, I am very good at Monopoly. Nobody wants to play me in Monopoly, okay? If anybody wants to challenge me in a game of Monopoly, please come ahead and lose your fake paper money, okay? But I digress. This firm is essentially 
a monopoly. This produces pricing model. So if you want to use the board to see what it looks like graphically, all we got to do is show the graph for a monopoly. And that's exactly what we'll do. Let's set it up. Here is your quantity. Here is your price, your cost, and your revenue. So I'm putting three things on this axis. I have price, cost, and revenue. And that's your quantity. The monopoly has a downward sloping demand curve. Let's put it here. That's the demand curve. Okay? But the monopoly has a downward sloping demand curve. Let me draw this under the right here. Here's the demand curve. Okay? And the monopoly has a downward sloping demand curve. Because demand is downward sloping, so is marginal revenue. And it sits under the demand curve. When I'm drawing these, I always like to think of these are parallel. I get the demand curve and I put the MR in and that's usually parallel. If you have a sense of price and quantity for a firm, so turn on your business brains. If you know the price, and you know how much of the good you're gonna sell, you have a sense of revenue. If you wanna figure out if you're gonna be making money or losing money, what other piece of information you would need besides your revenue? That's right, you need your cost. So to get or summarize the cost, we're gonna put the average cost curve in. And that cost curve is U-shaped, okay? We also need another cost curve, that's the marginal cost. Let's get that in there. That's the MC. In my other videos on the monopoly separate, I show you where exactly these cost curves come from, okay? So I have other videos that show you where these cost curves come from, and I also go through the monopoly with a little bit more detail. The point is, a collusive pricing model or cartel is essentially a monopoly. So we're treating them as such. We treat them as a monopoly, and we know monopolies will choose to maximize profit. Profits are maximized where MC is equal to MR. Right here where I'm putting this green dot. This is the quantity for the cartel. Because remember, they are acting just like a monopoly. This is the price for the cartel. I'm going to just put PC for cartel. You see it? I took the quantity up to where it hit the demand curve for a little X for you, and that was the price. How much is it costing to produce? Well, the same quantity cartel, I'm going to put another X right where it hits the AC, that is the cost. Let's call it cost C. So watch, the price the cartel gets is all the way up here, but it's costing the cartel just this cost, which means this green area I'm gonna shave, these are the profits for the cartel. And guess what? Because an oligopoly blocks entry, they're limiting competition, they make these profits today, tomorrow, the next day, the next year. They make these profits in the short run and in the long run. An oligopoly structure it's pretty attractive. If you want an example of a cartel, the example I usually give is OPEC, right? The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC. Where different countries that produce oil, they come together and they figure out with an agreement, what will be the world price of oil? And once they figure that out as a group, they divide up the market, sell their oil. So OPEC is a very good example of a global collusive pricing model or cartel, okay? That's it for the first model of the oligopoly. Suppose the oligopolies or the oligopoly firms in that structure decided to collude. They become a monopoly. Until next time, when we look at another model for the oligopoly, I want you to continue thinking about this particular market structure 
And as I use this board to explain concept, keep practicing, okay? Take care now.